Well, hello there, internet friend. Today, I look literally like Where's Wally with the glasses and the shirt, but hey, <laughs> uh, I'm Thomas. And yes, today, I will be showing you how to connect your phone to your television. I'm going to be doing two versions. I'm going to be doing uh, with iPhone, and I'm also going to be doing it with Android. In case you're an Android user, I personally am a Mac fan. I like iPhones, and I like my MacBook Pros. But regardless of what type of phone you use, you can still do this. And obviously, the first thing you're going to need is a smart television as well as your smartphone. So other than those two things, the second thing that you need for this to work is you need your phone and your television connected to the same internet connection, okay? When you set up your smart television, you can connect it to your home Wi-Fi. Mine has already been set up. Now, when you're on your iPhone, let's go to an app like YouTube. And we'll go to, you know, my own channel. This is Meta Junkie that you're watching right now. <laughs> uh, and let's go and watch, I don't know, maybe my how to cast Oculus Quest 2 to TV video, right? So what I'll do is I'll click that on my phone. My Oculus Quest 2 headset. You blah, 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 blah. Um, so I've got that, that video up on my phone now, as we can see as well. When the TV and the phone are connected together, a little airplay icon, which is this little like Wi-Fi looking signal with a rectangle will show up on your screen. This is it here. And you'll see it up on the little display there as well. And then some options are going to come up. So you've got airplay and Bluetooth devices. So if there's another phone in the room that I want to connect this to, I can opt in for that. I can also go living room TV. Living room TV is the one that I set up in my Google Home app. And then there's also link with TV code. Depending on what casting system your, your TV has, you might not be able to set up with Google Home. You might have to have you know a code that you use and a code will appear on the television and then you can connect using a code. However, because I do have living room TV set up uh, already in my Google Home app and the TV and the phone are connected to the same internet connection, I can click that and watch. My video is going to pop up on the television. Boop, boop, boop. It's just loading. Come on. So both of those devices are connected to the same internet connection. Once you have those two things done, you can pop the headset on and we can get straight to casting. There we go. We're on my YouTube channel right now. <laughs> and it's as easy as that. So the interface, as I'm moving around on the mobile, it's not going to show up on the television. It's just going to show up whatever videos that I'm playing at this current moment. So if I go to my how to process a my on pay run, I'll press play. Play again. It'll do its thing. Now it's playing my my old tutorial. To disconnect from the television, you just press the exact same button. So we'll click the so we'll click the airplay button, which now has a black square in in between it, and you can go disconnect. And then once you press disconnect. They'll have a think and then it'll go back to the normal television. <laughs> now let's get into the Android side of things. So I've got this Nokia phone, which I originally bought to fly my drone and I fucking hate this thing. Tell you why, it's slow and Nokia really dropped the fricking ball when it came to upgrading to smartphones. So I actually hate this phone and I don't even know why I have it, but I need to connect it to the internet because that's the first thing. I know the television's already connected to the Wi-Fi here. So I now need to make sure my phone is connected to that same Wi-Fi. I don't even know if I can record on this thing. Like my iPhone, I can record what's happening on the screen on my iPhone and show it up here. But this one, I'm going to be like this. This is how you do it. Connect. Beautiful. It's connected. Finally. Again, I'm telling you, this is so slow. In real time, that just took me 10 minutes. All right, here we go. So because I can't record on this phone, let's go into the YouTube app. Oh my fucking God. Die. Okay. 10 years later, it's registering that I want to go to YouTube. Now, because the phone and the TV are connected to the same internet connection, this should work. What are you doing? <sighs> 10 years later. Oh, see how we've got that little airdrop or the airplay app already? That's a good sign. Okay, we're actually going to be watching Pranks Destroy Scam Callers. It's got 49 million views, 10,000 ads because I'm not signed in and signing in would just take me 10,000 years longer. Great. Yeah, lovely. Play the fucking video. Okay, so here we are. We're going to click this icon and it's going to have a little epic... 
freak out and you'll see living room TV and link to TV via code are both there as options. Again, just like on our iPhones, we're going to click living room TV. And I'm going to pray to God this video pops up on that screen over there. Oh. Inside NYOB essential software. No, not my video. Clutterbox, and then of course we have their CCTV, so we can watch the whole thing unfold in real time. So buckle up, because this is the wild conclusion to this multinational adventure. And please watch the end, because there's something. You and that's how you do it. Do. Okay, I just need to disconnect that now. So dis to disconnect, you do the same thing. You click the airplay button, disconnect. And it'll disconnect just like that. And that's how you do it. Whether you've got an iPhone or an Android phone, doesn't matter. You can do it. As long as your television is a smart television and your phone and the television are both connected to the same internet, you should be able to use those AirPlay options to connect whatever you've got playing on your phone onto your television screen so everybody can watch it. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, and subscribe for more techie videos. So lately I've been doing a lot on MetaQuest 2 uh, and VR. I'm also really into uh, accounting softwares and just general digital marketing softwares. So if that's your kind of thing, I think you'll really like the content on this channel. But yeah, other than that, go have a look at everything else I've done. If you did find this useful, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Catch you later. Bye.